that means you're okay let's see did you 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 understand what i mean with the assassination one shot potential on a diana that means one in the tight lane and four in the mid lane for example and another one shot she's just gone nami disappeared that's what i'm talking about hey what's up guys dark Ricker here in today's video i'm gonna explain to you guys and show you why diana is a god tier on this patch she's one of my favorite junglers and if you guys want to understand and see why she is so strong and i'm gonna give you the best tips possible uh, for you guys to master this champion, use her yourself and farm up some ADCs. And uh, for you guys wondering, this is going to be a voiceover. And uh, in the future, all of my videos are going to be voiceovers from now on. Uh, because I want to provide you guys with better content and more educational content and better explanation. Talking about the macro points, why I'm doing what, decision making, etc. And so you guys can um yeah learn how diana is getting played and any other champions and i have to say that i have a lot of videos uh, already pre-scheduled and already made but it's only till like next week so like the week after that's when uh it's only going to be voiceovers from now on just like this video so if you guys enjoy this video and this type of video then definitely write it down below in the comments what tips you could give me about like an explanation i could give you like maybe talking about the matchup talking about the skill order talking about when to play uh diana or when you shouldn't play her i will try to cover all those things in this video so definitely make sure uh to leave a like and subscribe and give me feedback please give me feedback so yeah, I'm gonna uh, start with the explanation about the item build. In this gameplay, I'm using a full burst build, um, pretty much to one-shot opponents. Uh, there are different variations that you could run, like maybe a tanky build with Road of Age and Nash's Tooth. And there's some like tanky item variations that you could uh, put into. Like if you guys want to run a more stable drift maker is a great option. Reflector against physical damage compositions, obviously a great flex pick. Or Banshee's Veil for magic resistance and the spell shield. And there's some variations with like Sunfire or Searing Crown. But we're just gonna go for the one-shot assassination build that you could run almost every time, especially if the opponents are squishy, you can run this build. If the opponents are tanky, I would switch out the Ludens Echo, maybe for a Road of Age, but otherwise the build kinda stays the same most of the times. With core items like Death Cap and Void Staff, I would run almost every time. But yeah, first item is Luren's Echo. This provides you, first of all, really good stats, plus the additional poke damage that you get from the Discordic Echo. So every time you use your first ability before a team fight, you can chunk down the opponents with the first ability, doing a lot of additional damage. Then for the boots, a lot of times I like to go for the lifesteal boots. The lifesteal boots provides us, obviously, with an additional Omni Vamp. So in combination with the shield of your second ability, like your life stealing and they still have to break your shield first so you can get uh, a lot of healing back in team fights the next one for the item order we are gonna get the pendant first the pendant provides us with the early game penetration uh, so we can snowball even harder it's really gold efficient to get province pendant into death cap death cap a huge ap power spike item you guys already know by now and why are we getting this over the infinity orb we're getting this because death cap first of all is gonna boost all of our abilities and secondly diana also the second ability grants you a shield right and that shield is scaling with ability power so getting a bigger shield gives you more utility value so death cap really really good on that diana pick then afterwards you can decide do we finish the pendant into infinity Orb for even more burst damage because when the opponents are below 35 percent hp you will do a lot of burst damage or are we gonna go for that Void Staff? Because Void Staff uh, at the end of the day is gonna reduce all of the resistance of the opponents by 45%. And remember, even squishy targets have base resistance. So at level 10, like if you're getting Void Staff and everyone's like level 10, it's super, super efficient because you're gonna reduce all of that magic resistance and you will do so, so much damage. And then afterwards, I would get the Infinity Orb, obviously, for the one-shot. And then Lich Bane. Lich Bane to 
um how do you say it the cherry on top of the cake of the one-shot cake because with lich bane your assassination and one-shot potential is cracked um because the spellblade passive grants you additional damage after using an ability your cooldowns of your abilities are very low so you want to mix your auto attacks in between your abilities and diana's passive also grants attack speed whenever you're using an ability so it's very easy for you guys to proc those auto attacks in between your combos doing a lot of additional damage scaling with your ability power so the more ability power your the more ability power you have the more damage you will do with that lich bane and you guys will see in the gameplay you're pretty much one-shotting people first ability into third ability auto attack boom sayonara they are dead and i already gave you some nice item options nash's two with road of age for prolonged team fight against bruisers morello again for enter heal and the others I already talked about or rift maker for even more sustain if you guys feel like you need more survivability for the runes we are using electrocute because electrocute gives us really good burst damage after uh three abilities or auto attacks then sudden impact in combination with your third ability you're dashing around back and forth you're getting additional magic penetration then perseverance for additional resistance and tenacity and transcendence grants us even more abilities uh to complete the item build oh yeah that's going for the item build and let's hop right into the gameplay let's get started with the gameplay so first things first what i like to do is i'm gonna put the pink ward into the blue uh brush i'm gonna reset switch the ward into the red trinket and this allows me to get information and vision on the blue buff if someone wants to invade especially in hilo if you play against certain champions like a Jarvan, a kha'zix a kane leeson they tend to invade your blue buff so having that additional information is super super useful so I'm going to start with a second ability, after using it, uh, I get the shield and the shield procs are doing additional damage and I also get attack speed whenever I'm using an ability. For the skill order, it is going to be the first ability first, then the second ability and the third ability. The first ability is your main damage tool, the second ability grants you a shield and also gives you damage and the third ability um, yeah, for the gap closing. You could also start in the jungle with a first ability into the third ability so you guys can use the third ability for more attack speed but i like to use the second ability because it's uh, easier and uh, you have more hp when you're using the second ability first in case someone is invading and right here if you guys are paying attention i'm spacing my abilities because every three wait every time you use an ability for three seconds you're granting or you're getting attack speed so you want to space um, your abilities so you can get the most attack speed from your abilities so you have the best jungle clear speed and right here i'm just flanking from behind and we're gonna get a free kill i'm just gonna look if i can get the mid laner right here okay morana's coming I'm just gonna open my jungle clear obviously morgana start at blue buff so you always want to pay attention on where the enemy jungle is starting and for you guys wondering why i picked diana this game i think diana is a really good pick against high mobility champions and especially against adcs diana is a great pick to counter them right here morgana is going for that invade my cannon has priority he's already moving i'm gonna dash again onto right here I'm actually turning, trying to go for the Malphite first. I'm not flash, gonna use the ultimate. And now I'm just using the first ability and we get the kill. We get the double kill, which is really good. But yeah, Diana's main function is to be an assassin. Uh, I like to play her against champions that have high mobility or against ADCs. Because Diana is really good at gap closing and assassinating those champions. And even against Bruiser or bruiser type champions diana still works um when do i not like to play diana i guess against very tanky compositions or against very crowd control heavy compositions without frontline in this game we do have the nautilus though so potentially you could still pick a pick here but if you are the only frontline in the game or the only 
the only player that is jumping in without any frontline, then I think Diana is very hard to play because she really benefits from having someone who initiates first for her. Okay, didn't hit quite um, the first ability um, because you want to mark the opponents so you get that cooldown refund on your third ability. Because if you mark an opponent with your Moonlight passive, that's your ultimate. That's your pass. Um, that's your ultimate, and that's the first ability. If you jump on them, you get the cooldown refund. I think it's like um, more than eighty percent. No, I think it's ninety-eight percent or something. Then the cooldown is extremely low, and you can dash back and forth. So this is like the advantage of Diana that she has the mobility to dash back and forth with her um dashes you mark them with your ultimate you mark them with the first ability and then even if uh, people are trying to jump away diana has so much mobility to keep chasing them and follow them up for example i'm gonna use the first ability onto someone i can dash on him i use the ultimate i mark them again i can dash on them again i use the first ability and then i can dash on them again so i have three jumps pretty much if i play it well so really, really good catching potential and chasing potential, especially in this meta right now where you're playing against ADC champions or a lot of high mobility champions. Diana's not necessarily a pick. I would uh, pick first pick. I mean, you kind of can, but there are some games where it's definitely hard to play her when you don't have any frontliner who can initiate for you. Like, let's say the opponents have, like, two frontliners that can initiate. But you don't have any frontline. It's going to be very hard for you to play the game. Let's say they have Nautilus plus um, Wukong. Nautilus, Wukong. So much crowd control, right? I don't know why Ken is not helping here. I'm trying to turn right here. Oh, but he has the exhaust. Oh, we do survive, though. Nice. Oh, Morgana's coming. Oh, he lured Morgana in. I'm trying to turn right here, but I'm gonna end up dying. Now, this is not good because uh, Morgana got the shutdown. I thought maybe we could uh, turn on her and maybe I could survive, but very, very close. I still end up dying. But yeah, if you if you have if you have a lead, you don't want to give a shutdown because giving a shutdown gives the opponent a lot of gold, obviously. So they might hit their next uh, gold power spike or item power spike, and on top of that, you're giving them momentum back since you're dead for a period of time. I'm just gonna try to clear the wave before it's getting too many playthings. Because Cannon's kind of late, and then he would get even more platings. Okay, they are fighting on Dragon. I'm gonna try to rotate for Dragon quickly. I think we can turn right here. Because they're Kali, I'm just gonna use the first ability in Killer. Now, while I'm rotating for the Dragon, let's see if we can steal it quickly. I'm kind of too late though. Just gonna go for Morgana right here. But uh, yeah, we're pretty fed. We had a good early game start. Kennen's gonna use um, the Rift Herald on the mid lane. That's very good because he's gonna open the turret. And opening the turret means that we are gonna get uh, more freedom to rotate on the map and uh, set up some deep wards and better for us to rotate. Oh yeah, we couldn't talk maybe about like jungle matchups. I think Diana works uh, against every champion. Like, you can play all the time. I don't think there's like. I don't think she's too weak that you cannot pick here against certain champion uh, or certain jungle matchups. I guess you could be uh, a little bit worried about like very strong early game champions that might invade you, like uh, Kha'Zix, Jarvan, uh, Kane, or Lee Sin. But you can always just go for the full clear, or you can always just start at the crux for more safer uh, jungle route. There's always the option to just go for full clear, get level 5 before any skirmishes. Because Diana, she's okay at level 3, but she's not necessarily the strongest champion. Like in comparison to a Lee Sin, who is super super strong in the early game. 
Right here, I just try to dash and burst the Lucian quickly. I jump first into ultimate, into a first ability. Okay, right here, I'm gonna try to flash out really quickly. Gonna use the plan to disengage. And I'm just gonna go for the bot lane right here because I see the minion wave. I'm gonna take the plan as well, or maybe I'm not gonna take the plan. I do take the plans, okay. But yeah, I like to I like to go for playstyle where you are trying to gank as much as often, but at the same time you want to focus on farming because gold is key. Gold wins the game. Having a lot of gold and joining for the major objectives or joining for like counter ganks, etc., is the key. Okay, right here we have. All the tier three turrets, uh, tier one turrets open, which is really good. And I guess the thing you can do is, at this point, what you can do is try to set up wards for invades, try to trap, do like ambushes, or try to force objective team fights, knowing that you are much stronger. Because we're 19-7, we're really strong. We can go for a lot of skirmishes or a lot of fights, and obviously just. Uh, deep push the side lane, get some additional gold, and make sure that the opponents are not getting your turrets. I'm gonna use the first ability to look if the cannon was in that brush right here. Okay, my red is gonna spawn, I'm just gonna keep farming. As you guys can see, we have 1000 gold per minute, so we have a lot of gold. We almost have the death cap, which is gonna be a huge AP power spike for us. But if you guys are wondering what to do at this point, it's all about forcing fights, continuing farming, denying gold and experience by invading and stealing camps, if possible, or setting up traps, killing people, like yeah, you're setting up some deep wards, you kill people by catching them, especially with Nautilus pick, uh, he's really good at ambushing in the brush. And the dragon's gonna spawn soon, so obviously um, at that point uh, the, we can just push out the push out the lane set up a trap if they want to come and if they don't want to come we're just rushing the dragon for free but yeah right here i'm just uh cleansing with the red trinket the brushes to see and if they walk up we can just try to one shot them just like this for example okay do get the kill i'm just flashing out right here really quickly And dragon's gonna spawn in 10 seconds, so we got two kills by ambushing and trapping onto uh, um, against the opponents. And now we can just go for the lovely dragon. You wanna stack up the dragons because each dragon is gonna have additional stats. And the ice dragon is granting us abilities, which is obviously very, very good on uh, Diana. Because the more abilities, the more often you can spam your abilities. And your abilities are already pretty sh uh, shot cooldown, but it's really nice if you can just always get the shield up. Shield, 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 shield. Making you kind of tanky, even though you have so much AP. And especially with the life shield boots and the huge shield we're getting, it's very hard to kill us. And right now I'm just going to get the stasis for more survivability, just in case. Baron spawned, so at this point of the game, getting the Baron, getting the remaining turrets is key. So setting up wards um, again at the next objective, trying to ambush them. Right here I see they are fighting, and I use the ultimate. I'm gonna one shot that Akali. If we, kill, if we can kill the Akali right here, no Morgana, I mean Morgana right here. Or oh. we can just go for the Baron right afterwards. Gonna jump, we kill her, we got those two kills right now, and now I'm pinging, hey, guys, the enemy jungler is dead, two people are dead, we can go for the Baron, let's secure the Baron, so we can get that big buff and get even more turrets afterwards and try to finish off, uh, off the game. But you guys can see the burst damage and the assassination potential that Diana has, um, plus the mobility, like, I get closing is crazy, nice smiting though by me. And she's gone. She's gone. Deleted. Eliminate. 
Oh no, oh no, I'm getting caught right here minting. I am minting. I didn't get the blue buff, I'm out of mana. Okay, right here, I'm just gonna push the top side. I mean, when you have Baron, you can either go for 1-3-1, one, one. that means you're okay, let's see. Did you, 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 you understand what I mean with the assassination one-shot potential on a Diana? I mean, yeah, we're kind of fed right now, but even when you're not fed, you can do this. Like, even if Lucian and me have same gold, we can do, uh, I can still do the same, by the way. But yeah, you, you feel me? You feel me? You see that? Uh, you see that one shotting? That's what I'm talking about. That's why I like Diana. She's really good at just one shotting people. Where was I? When you have Baron, either you're pushing one three one, one top lane, one bot lane, and three in the mid lane, so you guys can pressure from all three lanes, or you're pushing one four. That means one in the side lane and four in the mid lane, for example, and another one shot. She's just gone. Nami disappeared. That's what I'm talking about. That's why Diana is a god pick in this meta right now. She's just one-shotting people left and right. That's Diana for you guys. And there are a lot of like, you know why I like this champion the most? Because even when the game is not snowballing like this, she has really, really, really amazing team fighting and carry potential. When the games are like, uh, even, even, when the games are even, even. Sounds right. Oh yeah, a really nice trick by the way is to use the first ability onto the minion you jump onto the minion and then you can jump onto the opponent for gap closing this is how you can gap close really quickly um to secure or to reach someone who's low life like i'm gonna show it right here i think i'm gonna show it right here first ability onto this i'm gonna jump on this i'm gonna jump on this and this is the prime example on how to do that. Did you see that? I used my first ability. I used the first ability onto the crux. No. On oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's crux. Onto the crux first. And then I dashed on it. And then I dashed on Malfoy. And then I used ultimate. That's a quick... Um, a quick secret. Diana. Uh, catch combo. I'm just waiting. If someone comes close, I reach first ability, third ability, boom, one shot. I'm just waiting for it. Just waiting for someone to get too close so I can do it. Oh, okay, I'm missing my first abilities. Thanks. I think we should just go Baron, to be fair. Just get Baron, make it safe. Okay, exhaust being used. We use Stasis right here for the Inami ultimate as well. And one shotting this guy. And ultimate in combination with a cannon ultimate. A huge wombo combo by us. 23 kills right now. And I'm now, I'm like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 23 kills and one death. 
insane snowballing diana gameplay i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have uh, had it and tell me if you guys enjoyed this uh, voiceover yeah as you guys can see 23 kills in grandmaster 40,000 damage but yeah i see you guys next time Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush